Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, I'm of course Kefless and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions Hill Legends of Terra. We are going to be checking out the weekly adventures today and we are going to be doing the 2.5 star weekly adventure against the Darius here. Now first of all, I want to apologize for not getting back to your comments as soon as I left the community post out yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time. I did mention and some of you may already know that I recently took up a new um, part-time job which requires me to teach late nights. So after my regular day job, I have to go to the other second job which means i don't really have time to do recordings on monday and tuesday now on that note i haven't replied to most of you guys yet uh, i apologize about that as well again the time constraint is just extremely brutal for me at the moment but anyway i am gonna reply to every one of you uh once this video goes live and i'm done with you know recording and editing and you know practically everything else but all right enough about that let's talk about this adventure here so two and a half star darius here shadow portal adventure we're gonna be using nasus for this one because from what i'm seeing in the comment section a lot of you mentioned that nasus is actually pretty challenging in this particular adventure now i'm not really sure but i am going to give this a shot and see how it all plays out i imagine it might be so because if you take a look at the special rules here uh when any player summons a unit set its health to one nothing but powder monkeys too round starts the foe summons a powder monkey so mortal marks is probably the biggest problem here but i think i have a pretty clever way to potentially offset that i will get to it in a second so let's quickly go into the nasus build here real quick uh level 29 and three star nasus here in terms of the star powers, we have the Bunadi Ascended 2. Round end, grant your strongest ally plus 2 plus 2 for each unit you've slain this round. Once you've slain 10 plus units, restore the sun this. Shreeman Preservation, plus 1 starting mana. Round start, grant your strongest enemy minus 1 and minus 0. So obviously, as you can tell, we are going to get the plus 2 stat buff in terms of the attack. Uh, in terms of the defense stat or the health stat, it will be given, it will be granted. Unfortunately, it will be reset down to 1, I believe, if I understood the function of the star power, uh, or rather the adventure power correctly. Now, in terms of the champion level here we are running at level 29 nasus so that means we are a little shy of the rare relic sword tree however we have access to level 28 for his tank nexus health and of course level 20 game star droid champion now in terms of the uh, relics here we are going to be running a green glade shade leaf and csf build so as i said this is probably how we're going to offset that uh, penalty from the power there so with the green glade shade leaf if we kill a supported ally we're able to transfer the stats over to the nasus now i do realize that the supported ally may have pretty bad stats in terms of health but at a very at least we will get the elusive as well courtesy of Greenlight shade leaf so it's probably better in the long run to essentially use this build i'm not really sure i haven't really tried it out yet so we'll have to see how it goes uh revenous hydra here when i'm summoned deal one to all enemies will be pretty good because after all the added power here in the adventure will essentially make all units set down to one health so with the ravenous hydra we should be able to clear them off pretty easily all right so that's pretty much it we are gonna head back out we are gonna go ahead and start this adventure and see how we do against the darius All right, the Marcia map here. There is as the final boss and GPS mini boss. Let's head into the uh, power node. And we get best defense. We get a stun. Grow my health to match my power. Okay, this is pretty good because this practically offsets everything. Uh, the entire Bunity is ended. Uh, sorry, not Bunity is ended, but the, uh, what is it? The mortal marks. I think we're just going to go for it then. I know stun could be great, but I think best defense might be better here. All right, we're going to head into the Spiderling. Okay, we're gonna keep Rock Hopper, and I think we'll keep Xenotype. We'll get, just get rid of the Bad Guy Sand Spinner here. I think we don't need two Rock Hoppers. One should be enough. Uh, Rock Hopper on. Would you look at this place? Well, that's a bit of a waste of vulnerable, but it's fine. Um, I think we'll go siphoning strike first. Probably not. No, actually, let's attack. Let's have a better idea. I have a much better idea. All right, cool. So now we'll go with siphoning strike, and then we'll strike this guy. So I did not anticipate a unit here, but what I know was, you know, it was probably better to wait for Siphoning Strike on a, a non-ephemeral unit. That way we don't essentially waste the spell, in my opinion. So it's pretty good. Um, 
You get a stat buff, which is pretty nice. So we, we basically just offset the entire um, board, right? Because not only did we have a pretty decent star power, but uh, at the same time, the you know the stat buff from uh, what is that? The boon of the ascend that somehow offsets that a little bit, which is pretty nice. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and let this drain. Uh, I think we'll go Xena type here. You're provoking it. Probably not gonna block with it. I think we'll just block with a seven six and block. Uh, I think we we'll block the one one. We're waiting for Nasus at this point. We should be fine. We don't. We may not need him actually, but you know, if we do get him, it, it will definitely be better. Um, we're gonna go with a Rune Runner here. Stat buff. Stat's gonna get dropped. Um, I think we can safely attack with everything except the two one. Or do we want to attack with the two one? Yeah, I think we'll attack with the two one. We'll go exhaust minus two on this guy. Bring him here. That old trick again. Scared of a fair fight? Alright, um, I would try to wait for more units to come on first because I think there might be a Brute Awakening some uh, uh, around here. I feel like I'm gonna risk it, but at the same time I don't, so I think we just drop Nasus here, it's fine. Alright, we'll just resolve. We should win next turn. We just have Nasus consume the 15-14, the 6-2 the six or the 3-2. Anyone works. Um, I think we just consume the 3-2. Like so. Let's actually put it this way. Might be better. Right? Oh, actually, no. Let's put this guy down here. Yeah. That old trick again. Scared of a fair fight? Honestly, that wasn't too bad. Uh, maybe that was just the first battle, but we'll have to see. I think we're gonna go with the Chronomancer here. It should be fine, the extra uh, cost, but at the very least we get a Predict and some stat buffs as well. I think I like that. Or actually, no, this might be better because I just realized that we are gonna get, you know, the, uh, what is that, the health stat reduced. I think a Rally could be much better here. Give allies 4 4 this round. You have the attack, we're gonna give them Scout. Yeah, I think this will definitely be much better in comparison. We're gonna go with Champion Strength. All right, we're gonna go with Support Champion. Uh, we get Sion, Callista, and Sejuani here. I think we might reroll, actually. I don't really like any of these, if I'm going to be honest. Callista is a loser, which is pretty nice, obviously. But um, I think we can definitely do better. Uh, we get Annie, we get Fizz, and Lulu here. I think we'll go with Annie. Annie's a little bit more aggressive. I think I like that. We're going to pick her up. Alright, so we're going to head to the Herald of Spring here because I want to head to the shop node. Okay, champion strength, xenotype, xenotype. We're gonna reroll everything here, and yeah. Alright, gonna bring on Annie first. Uh, let's go fearsome and stun this guy. It's Kythera, Annie. Hey, Tibbers. And we're gonna attack with everything. Uh, Blood the Steam Marauder on.
think we'll just sack the one one here. It's fine. Rock up, Ron. Would you look at this place? Okay, I think we'll bring Herald of Spring down to this 4-1, I feel. I'm hoping we get some cost reduction on Nasus. I think that'll be extremely important. We haven't really slain anything yet, which is pretty bad. Um, we'll go with Rune Runner here. Or do we want to go with... Yeah, Rune Runner might be better. Sand and trouble, far as the eye can see. Give an enemy minus four, minus zero. Or two enemies minus one, minus zero. I think we'll go with Quicksand here. Quicksand and disable this guy. We'll put the 6-4 down here because that's the only one that can block the tree too. Uh, we'll plop the tree tree here. We'll sack off this 1-1. One, one. Over here, sorry. And that's about it. Alright, get Nasus next turn. Nasus is on. Right, so we're gonna attack like so. We should be able to get some good damage here. Scared of a fair fight? Saw that a mile away. Oh, and we actually win because we have elusive. Cool. The wheel never stops turning. Did you like that, Tibbers? Wasn't it fun? All right, so we're gonna go with the buff to spell singer here since we already have the card. So as you can already tell, CSF is probably a really good build here. It's probably the right build in my opinion, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's head to the shop first and then see what we can get. In terms of the power here, we get reset. Um, I think I spent what reroll. I don't really like this honestly. We get endurance, which is much better. We are gonna pick this up. And in terms of the cards here, I don't think we're gonna purchase anything. So we're just gonna head straight into the jubilant poro. All right, Annie, Siphoning Strike, Champion Strength. We're going to re-roll everything here except Annie and Siphoning Strike. And we get double Annie's here. Not the greatest. We need a Nasus, and we do get him. Cool. All right, um, let's go Annie first. We're not blocking, obviously. All right, rock up on. Since this is a stun, it's probably useless after the enemy has attacked. Probably bring this on next turn. We'll see. Uh, probably not yet. Let's just attack here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's not play Siphoning Strike yet. We'll pass the turn. Okay, let's bring on Xenotype. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Always chasing after this one. <laughs> Alright, so since this is tough, we obviously know that this is not going to die conventionally, so it's better to go Siphoning Strike and just immediately kill it here, I feel. Alright, we've got Nasus next turn, you guys know the game plan. Uh, we'll drop Xenotype first. Always 
chasing after this one. <laughs> Legion Temple. No one's the wiser. All right, we're gonna attack here. We're gonna go exhaust. Um, we'll give minus two, minus zero to this two one, and we'll bring it to we'll bring it to Annie. No, actually, Annie will deal more damage, right? Annie will deal um, deal two to my block of it. It's now gone. I deal two to enemy nexus instead. These will all deal three. Although I'm pretty sure a lot of it's gonna die, but either way, I think we're just blocking Annie with it. I feel. Sister. All right, should be fine. We have Nasus next turn. You guys know the game plan. Let's just wait for more units to come onto the board first. It's probably going to be a lot more. Yep. Follow along, little ones. All right, nice is on. The cycle begins. Oh. That was weird. Um, hold on. The sun disc did not level up. Did it level up? I think it did. Oh, I think it must have leveled up. Uh, yeah, we, we leveled up, but Nasus hasn't leveled up yet. That's why I didn't go to Ascended Tree. My apologies. Uh, got a little bit confused here. All right, so either way, we still win next turn. And Nasus, uh, once he strikes, will go up to um, level 3, I believe. All right, so we're just going to make sure that happens. Alright, so far so good. Um, we're gonna go with the Sandstone Chimera here, I feel. Uh, that could be pretty decent. I cost one less for each time an ally attack this game. Or do you wanna go with Thorn of the Rose? It's already 5-1. It's not really being affected by the uh, debuff so much. I think this could be pretty decent. Dargon's Brace as well. We're gonna go for it. Why not? You know, this could actually be a really good, um, you know, level up adventure for Jack because all the units are, you know, at one health. So that means we shouldn't have too much problem, um, you know, attacking with the brash keyword here. So this could be pretty decent to level Jack up. Anyway, in terms of the next power here, we are going to head to the shop node, uh, grab a power like I just mentioned, and spell burn, not the greatest. I feel like I'm going to reroll, but this is an epic uh, power here. Do we really need this though? That's the question. We're not really playing too many spells. I think we can easily forego this. I don't want to spend the gold here. Uh, I think we'll just grab some cards instead. And we have a buff to the Bloodless Team Roder. We'll purchase one copy. I tell we'll spend one reroll here and see what we get. And we get Sticky Fingers, which is significantly worse. I want to keep at least one reroll, so we'll just leave it. Alright, so we're going to head into the healer here. Uh, purchase healing. Oh, so it's a good thing we didn't purchase that um, that epic power as well. If not, we wouldn't have enough to purchase healing here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to head to the GP. Okay, Annie, Xenotype, Buckeye, Sand Spinner. We're going to re-roll these two. Nessus. Let's go... Any? Ah, oh, parlay. Yeah, I should have known that. Uh, should have known that was coming. All right, we're gonna go with the blood dusty marauder here. All 
Alright, I think I can see the problem here. It looks like the GP battle might be the one that's actual hell. Um, I think we'll drop Xenotype first. We'll see. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna pass the turn. I'm not gonna block, obviously. Yeah, the GP Mina boss is probably gonna be hell. Um, we'll go with Legion Sap first. Ah, oh, piss off, man! How many freaking make make it rains does it have? Jesus! Right, I realize we're baiting out, so that means we can bring on an asses safely in the coming turns. Unfortunately, though, he hasn't leveled up quite enough yet, so we are probably just gonna pass the turn here. Interesting reaction. There's nothing we can do. The fearsome. And actually, there is something. We'll just bring this on and stun the tree one. Just like I taught you. Alright, so this is fearsome. These are all two units, so we should be able to safely attack. Can we get a stealth buff? Uh, uh, health buff. There we go. Not stealth buff. <laughs> GP ought to be coming on soon. Um, we'll go with one rune runner. All right, so we're gonna block this tree tree here. We'll keep the six one alive. I think we'll take ten damage. It should be fine. All right, NASA's on. Probably should have waited for that. That way we could have gotten, you know, uh, more kills there. <laughs> well, that's cool. I think we'll just attack like so. We should be in the control here. Um, yeah, it should be fine. Saw that a mile away. That old trick again. Life and death inexorably interwoven. All right, in the round. And I think we'll drop Legion Sap here. Paint their decks with blood. Yeah, Legion Saboteur. My Fair enough, we'll resolve this. Run, run it. What you want without mercy. All right, awesome. We have to win. Scared of a fair fight? Okay, GP done. Uh, we don't need Elusive because we already have that from Shade Leaf. Challenger could be useful, but I think I want to go with something else. So I think we'll just spend our final reroll here. It should be fine. And we got Icebone Gauntlet, Norris T, and Quick Attack. And I these are that great if I'm going to be totally honest with you. I think we'll just go with Norris T then. Uh, might be fairly decent. Alright, we're going to head into the Power Note. Uh, Reunited Raiding Party, Dragon's Rage. Dragon's Rage is good because we have the CSF buff. I think we'll go with Dragon's Rage. All right, so we're gonna head into Mermaid here. Right, Spell Singer, Thorn of Rose, Xenotype, and Rune Runner. We are probably gonna reroll everything except Spell Singer here. Great, I'm loving this. Uh, any on? I just realized we don't have a Nasus here. Could be a little bit scary. We will need the Nasus. It's going to be extremely important that we do get the Nasus. Let's go with Rockhopper first. Okay, we do get a Nasus cool. And we get a Norse T-buff as well. Nice. Alright, uh, Legion Sabata. The 
Alright, that's perfectly fine. And we're just gonna attack like so. We'll bring this one here, that way we could guarantee the kill on it. Alright, Thunder Rose on. More than one way to pick a fine cone. I'll show you. Guile, and I think we'll just stun this to one. Because I don't uh -huh. want it giving quick, you know, quick attack to everyone else. Still waiting for Nasus here. We definitely, definitely need cost reduction above everything else. That would be extremely important. Uh, let's go with Spell Singer. We'll, no, nah, I think we don't stun it yet. Let's actually go with Sand Spinner and give vulnerable to this guy. Oh, that's a little bit sad, but it's fine. All right, I gotta attack like so. Seven one here. Uh, let's actually put this one next to this guy. Give it a stat buff. Give Annie the stat buff, which is pretty decent. Uh, yeah, it's fine. And around. Probably gonna bring on Nasus next turn. That's probably gonna be our ace ticket. 17 16, Legion Saboteur here. We might just consume that, depending on whether we need to. Uh, we'll just use this to block the 2 1. Nasus on. Alright, assembly bot. We'll just wait for attacking turn. I think we should have the win here, no problem. Because we can't just have Nasus consume the 2926. In fact, I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we have a supporting unit, right? Yeah, it's the 6 6 here. Nasus next on the stack, 296 here. And we'll attack with the rest. We have to win. Alright, cool. So looks like we get more buffs here. Uh, Emperor's Favor on Exhaust, Quick Attack on Mana Soul, and uh, Doubling Dice on Hunt the Weak. I think we might go with a Hunt... The, no, no, Hunt the Weak probably isn't too great. I think we might actually go with the Focus here. Or do we want to go with Mana Soul? We're probably not playing Annie in her deck too often. Well, we are playing Annie in her deck, but not as often as I would like. Uh, Exhaust might actually be, be better here because we get vulnerable. I think we'll go with Exhaust. Might be better. Okay, Power Note here. We get counter production, spell singer, and duelist. I think spell singer is the best. We'll pick this up. All right, onto the shop. Grab power and welcome gifts. Um, I see this yet again, so we're just gonna pick this up. The welcome gifts is uh, pretty much, you know, a mainstay on the channel at the moment. Now, in terms of the cards, I don't really see anything I like, so we're just gonna leave it. Uh, let's see, champion arm chest and a shop. We'll probably head to champion arm chest, and we're gonna take on the swiftling, uh, swift wing flight here. All right, Annie again, Legion Sap, uh, Xenotype, and Siphoning Strike. Pretty decent start. I think we'll keep this. We can work with this, I hope. Just hope we get the Nasus as well. Uh, 
All right, that is beautiful. We have the Nasus here. Um, I think we just passed the turn first. All right, it's fine. Uh, we don't need to play quicksand yet. We'll just resolve it. Okay, any on. Let's go Legion Sabaturno. Alright, uh, stunning enemy. I don't think we're going to do that yet. Let's actually go with Siphoning Strike. We'll have this guy strike one or two once. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna tank. Alright, we're gonna end the round. And obviously, we are just waiting for Nasus. In turn 6, we should have the win. Yeah, I honestly don't care what it summons here. We're probably just going to try to, you know, do a little bit of damage control. Uh, we'll just go with the Xenotype Researcher here. You're provoking it. Quick sand. Minus one, minus zero. We'll debuff this one. That way, any survives. Uh, fearsome not yet. I think we'll go with the Rune Runner then. Alright, we're just gonna tank. I think we'll put this elusive last. Scared of a fair fight? Okay, end the round. Ness is on. Forty doesn't kill that, but it's cool. Hmm. Oh shit, I just realized this was probably stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I wasn't paying attention there. I was taking things for granted. I thought we were able to kill everything here. Eh, it's fine, we'll just uh, let it challenge. And it chose not to challenge, interesting. Okay, I thought that would challenge here. Well, it's fine, we'll just go 2023 and block this tree one. We should have the win anyway next turn. Nasus, as I said, elusive. Uh, we have a couple of elusives actually, but we have Defeat Vulnerable as well, so we're fine. Alright, just gonna attack like so. We'll have exhaust on the 10 10. Uh, sorry, we have to give vulnerable first. We'll give it to the tree one and we'll drag it here. Wasn't it 
All right, nice. So I think what we're going to do here is we're probably going to buff... I think we'll buff Quicksand. Uh, minus two cost isn't too bad. We'll pick this up. We're going to head to the champion item chest, obviously. And let's see. Shadow Totem, Radiant Plate Armor, or Dragon Stove. Dragon we already have the Fury, so I don't think we need that. Uh, Shadow Totem is probably the best on Nasus. We're going to pick this up. Too bad we didn't get anything that reduces costs. All right, we're going to head to the healer here. We are definitely purchasing healing. And now we're going to take on the Darius. Okay, siphoning so strike, spell singer, thorn rose, and Nasus here. I think we're gonna keep that. We're gonna get rid of thorn rose. We'll keep spell singer and the siphoning strike. Any on? Let's go spell singer. Actually, no, let's not do it. Let's just attack with... No, um, we'll, we'll go Rock Hopper first. Oh, and we get Branch. Cool. So this would be a pretty safe attack here. So Branch is good because, like I mentioned, um, all these one health units will not be able to block it. So as I mentioned as well, this is probably intended or made for Jack. Uh, but we are using Nessus in this one. Uh, rock Hopper. Alright, we're gonna block this guy. And I think we'll leave... No, actually we'll put the tree tree down to this 2-1. Yeah. Alright, uh, Siphoning Strike, I guess. 9-7, take... No, actually, no, let's hold off on that first. Yeah, I think we'll execute my um, thought process in the first battle. We'll hold off from Siphoning Strike. Let's just attack with this 9-7 first, since we can. Alright, that's cool. Not the end of the world. Probably gonna be a Darius coming on next turn, right? I tell you, we'll keep the siphoning strike for the Darius. Let's um let's drop the Zanny first. Mine is the hand of Noxus. Alright, I think we'll go siphoning strike 9-9, take out the 6-1. Yeah, I don't want to deal with Darius, obviously. Not my ideal um, gameplay situation. <laughs> uh, Rune Runner. Alright, I think we just have to win here. Nass is on. Alright, it's cool. Uh, what we can do is probably just um, this Nasus first. No, actually, no. Let's swap it around like, like so. This Nasus will consume the six one and twelve twelve here. Um, it should be fine. Yeah. Alright guys, and there you have it, 
that is the uh, 2.5 Darius Adventure complete. So it seems pretty fast as well. I got a completion time of 28 minutes here. Uh, but then again, I had a pretty decent build. I had Greenleaf Shade Leaf as well as Corrupted Star Fragment. Not many of you are going to get Corrupted Star Fragment that easily. Uh, Shade Leaf you can get from Annie's Chapter 2 campaign. And the Corrupted Star Fragment, you just have to get lucky from the Reliquaries and hope that you get your first one. But essentially, yeah, this is a pretty decent adventure with a pretty decent build. Uh, Ravenous Hydra here, as I mentioned at the beginning, was obviously going to work because everything's going to drop down to one health. So summoning the Nasus will instantly kill everything else. However, I did not consider that the, uh, what is that, the Brash keyword could be really useful here because of the fact that all the units will be at one health. So if you have a Jack that you're trying to level up, definitely consider bringing him into this one. I think he will do pretty well. Uh, but yeah, everything else seems pretty decent as well. In terms of the star powers, we get stuff like Welcome Gifts for a little bit later. It's still not the greatest, but it's still fine. Uh, the best defense, ally for have attack, grow my health to match my power. So basically, I managed to, you know, get our health back up to full. Uh, it's not really that important, I would say, because, you know, the most important thing is that the stat buff isn't reduced. And if you're running the same, uh, the stat buff here, I mean, the, you know, the attack stat buff. But essentially, yeah, if you are running the same, um, what is that, the same set of relics here, uh, you should be able to get rid of best defense here. You may not need that. But yeah, all in all, seems like a pretty solid adventure overall. So a lot of you guys left a lot of other champion suggestions as well. Don't worry, I will get to them. I have not forgotten all your requests, by the way. Uh, I'm just having a little bit of a backlog right now. So all I can ask for is your patience and your understanding. So if you guys enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel. I really, really do appreciate that support. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of Legends of Runeterra or Path of Champions content just like this one. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching as well as joining me. This is Kevlo signing off. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.